Suleiman, the Sensation! And fighting out of the red corner, a Paul Rouge. He's wearing white with blue letters officially weighing 63.4 kilograms. His professional record, a perfect one. 18 fights, 18 victories, including eight knockouts. From Kaspis, Russia, the reigning, defending, undefeated WBA light welterweight champion of the world, Kavi, the Hawk, Alejandria. Just one with him. Come on, just one with him. Okay, guys, I give you an in the dressing room. Let's have a clean match. Good luck, God bless you. Le di la instrucción en el camerino. Vamos a una pelea limpia que te gana mejor. Suerte, Dios los bendiga. Bye. Well, this is it. The WBA and IBO World Junior Welterweight title at stake. Your vamos champion, fuera, Khabib Alakferti from Russia, with a fantastic record of 18 and 0 and 8 KOs against Suleiman okay. and Bai from France. You heard a few boos there. But the reason you heard some booze is because Suleiman and Bai is a man from France. The one on. I gotta what? let the, the ring girls out at some <laughs> point. Uh, <laughs> oh, now they do. It'll be nice if they take the ring girls out of a world I mean, title fight. They don't want to get punched by these guys. We said we are ready to go. Right, Khabib Whoa. defending his titles here. It's round number one from that unorthodox South Pole stance. Khabib unbeaten, I've seen already tonight. An unbeaten fighter in Dimitri Kochi losing his unbeaten record and buy in the red trunks. Alec Ferdiev in those white trunks. It's a chess game, cat and mouse. Well, Khabib Alec Ferdiev. He represents a new wave of fighters emerging from the former Eastern Bloc. All of them tough and well-schooled. And of course, he definitely is winning a bronze medal at the 2005 World Championships. Last year, the Southpaw captured his first major title, stopping Kaiser Mabuza in four rounds for the IBO light welterweight title. And, and then five months later, he added the WBA title to his collection by handing Joan Guzman his first defeat in 15 years. It's for the best. There's a uh, Khabib. So for Suleiman Bai in the red trunks. He's a local, he's a favorite. They love him here. Well, very slow start to this world title fight. Both fighters not throwing any punches right now. They're just sizing each other up. Yeah, he's taking a stance here, Suleiman Bai, that is not going to take a step back. It's going to stand his ground. He just wants to see what uh, Alec is going to bring. He's pushed it. He's pushed it. And that's happened because the Suleiman Bai is not prepared to take a step back. Legs wide, wide open, both fighters. Well, one of these fighters has got to make a move. Uh, Suleiman trying the left jab. You can see there, Khabib is not trying to jab at the moment. Just keeping his hands up tight, nice, looking for openings. Fainting, fainting, bobbing. Very Left strange. Right. Very strange. Two minutes here, the opening of a world championship fight. Both guys not throwing any punches, they're both sizing each other up. We talk about respect in fights and in world title fights specifically, but I think this is pushing it a bit too far. And we've seen uh, the experience of a uh, Suleiman Bai coming into play. He simply knows that if he takes a step back, he will be punished by the younger Alec Fatif. Ten seconds. Key thing now is how do you score this round? 
time. Mais il n'y a pas de... Il y en a des problèmes, ok Simplement, le jab, ça passe bien. Ouais. Ok. Dès qu'il fait le monde, le monde de mouvement qu'il qui fait, ouais. ou alors tu appuies, tu appuies sur le jab. Ouais. Tu, appuies, tu appuies le jab, ou alors tu places là à la droite. Ouais. Mais pour l'instant, tu vois, il, il cherche comment te boxer. Ouais. Pour l'instant, il ne sait pas. Ouais. Il essaie de feinter, il voit que tu feintes aussi, donc il ne sait pas comment faire. Ouais. Et donc vous allez être les deux à feinter. À la moindre occasion, tu la lues. D'accord. Ok. Sois bien sur tes jambes. Sois ouais. bien sur tes jambes. Не бросаться на него, да? Не бросаться, разве? Не ему китачу, китачу просто. Да. Ты консоу? Вам уфера, уфера. Ты консоу? А я. Бок. Раунд 2 этого, это WBA и IBO. Title fight. Khabib Alep Fardiev is the champion defending here against the Sully, Suleiman Mbai. Both fighters unable to land any clean blows in round one. They saying styles make fights. Uh, this is still very strange though, Pumlani, that these two guys... Somebody's got to make the move and go forward. Yeah, that's better work from the champion. Khabib. Champion is on line by those three right hands though. Each time he tries to come inside. The, the champion's already got a cut in the, in his left eye. It's courtesy of that straight right hand because all that's happening is that Sully is just waiting for him, timing him to try and walk in and then he wants to punish him with that straight right hand. Suleiman in Pai. He's doing slightly better in the second round than the champion, but also not effective. Too much shadow boxing and too much squaring each other up. Fighting, quite a lot of patience, the styles of the team, good combinations here. Good work from the champion from Russia. Oh, the land has gone down. A terrific punch as early as the second round. The champion, Khabib al Fardiv, has knocked his man down. He has Suleiman in by from France. And he's just taken eight count. The referee shouldn't allow him to leave his arms on the, on the ropes. And for, the Fardiv's putting on pressure now. It's such a good puncher, this Khabib al Fardiv. Oh, well, now we know why he's won so many fights by knockout for Div. Oh, there's a big right hook again. Ah, uh, Suleiman Bai is getting nailed here. Oh, big right hand right. uppercut from Alec Fertiev. Suleiman Bai ah. standing his ground. End of the round. Good, excellent head round. A brilliant round for the champion, Khabib Alec Fertiev. Watch that hair coming in, okay? Go to the head, with the head, okay? Okay. Watch that hair coming in, okay? okay? Deep breath. Stay in that body for me. He can't take it. So we see the actions slow mo. Right took, left took. That left, oh, it's, a, it's a delayed reaction of a left took. From Al Akhverdiv. There's the left hand. Second ah, the left hook. Second so. What up? What up? Second so. 
Round number three, WBA and IBO championship fight. Alec Fardiev exploded in round number two. Had been for quite a while working with Costa Zoo, but now there is David Jackson in his corner. Zoo made to stay back home in Russia and work with other fighters in camp. It's easier, they tell me, for Alec Fardiev to work with a David Jackson in America. That's where they would want to be. Ah, good left hook to the body from Suleiman. Good jump there from a Alec Fertiv. No, 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 no. <laughs> Try to aim, oh. shoot for the body there, Suleiman. Malik Fertiv must get closer. He's a terrific puncher. You saw he knocked his man down with a left hook in the second round. You could see Fardiv is not really trying to work the chair. Ah, good right hand uppercut from uh, Suleiman. Got a respect for Suleiman Bai there, uh, uh, Kabir, because he's simply not walking in. He's got to start throwing bigger punches. In fact, nobody's throwing punches right now. Better around this for Mbai. See the man in Bai. No, 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 no. This looks though. Oh, that's that a... played a big part in the knockdown in the previous round, too. Oh. There's going to be a slip that run. That knocked out. Hashtag Monaco Boxing, send us your tweets round by round. Boxing, ah, Mr. Let's Get Ready to Rumble now doing his thing. Boxing on your world of champions, of course. Michael Buffer is in the house. Z, late night boxing on the tube, love it. Hashtag Monaco Boxing. Joe Rocha, within al Khalif says his other favorite sport is wrestling. Do you think he means pro wrestling? Second show. Vamos fuera, fuera. Second show. Allá, allá, allá. Book. Round number four. By the challenger in the red trunks. Khabib Alec Fardiev in the white trunks. He is the defending champion, unbeaten after 18 pro fights with eight KOs. All sorts of traps right now being set by Mbai. Good work there. Now the champion. The champion is putting under pressure. Khabib Alak Fertif. Missed with most of those shots though. Nice and tight defense from Mbai. Is the 
that straight right hand from uh, Suleiman. He could hardly, hardly miss with the straight right hand. Round four, they're feeling each other out again, lining each other up. No major punches landed. Alec Bardi wants to make it five feet right hand over there from uh, Suleiman. He's got better boxing skills, Suleiman Bai. Suleiman Bai has got nice boxing skills, but he's sizing his man up too much. He needs to let those hands go. He's got to slip forward and let the punches go. Well, Ferdiv is not doing a great job in letting his own punches go, though. Now, both fighters doing exactly the same thing they did in round one. Why you why you'd want to do that in round four of a world title fight? I'm not sure. Is that a much, much better round here? Suleiman Mbai. Alec Fardiv has hardly landed a punch in this particular round. Clearly, Fardiv has chosen to fight as a counter puncher but Mbai is also wise to that he's also setting his own traps comes back with the left hook being frustrated il a donné il a caché son venin il n'y a plus il a plus rien maintenant qu'est-ce qu'il va chercher Fais le forcing pour te fatiguer. Oui, je sais. Mais c'est là. Oui. là. D'accord Il faut les contrer, les contrer très très fort. Action from the previous round. It's a Suleiman Bai really has had a better round, landing better company, although he was against the ropes here. Comes back with a Big overarm right. Second so. Fuera, vamos, fuera. Both Second fighters so. missing. Out. Vamos, fuera. Both. That is a big right hand from Suleiman. My landing just one punch at a time. Needs to start putting them together. A oh, rather slow world title fight here. With Khabib Ali Khadiv coming in with such a credible record. 18 and 0. He's just not doing the job. He's not working. He's not throwing punches. It's almost like nobody wants to win the fight. Baez got the ability to jab and get off first with that right hand. There is the combination. Clearly, Alec Fardiv is a bigger puncher than Bai. His fighting style tells you that he believes in power punching. That's some nice uppercuts to the body there. Left hand to the body from Fardiv. He needs to just keep the work rate going when he gets there. It's probably shaking on the straight punching. It's much better from the champion. That is the power punching I was talking about. He loves this. 
Yeah, he loves to have a war and a fight. And that's where he needs to be now. Great work from the champion, Khabib Alik Fardiv. He's landing solid, solid blows. Good jab. Champion says you're not hurting me, but he needs to work himself. There are marks now on the face of the champion. Alec Fortier, those punches really getting through from Suleiman Bai. We're still waiting for the champion to explode. He did so for about 10 seconds. So, another winning round for the champion, but not very convincing. You see our crowd in Monte Carlo, they're enjoying the action. Uh, Brian scoring the fight from a ring side. This is an unofficial scorecard. Alec Fortier is ahead. On points, it's by 46. Habib Alec Fortier, 49. It's been a rather dull fight, though, Pumlani, but uh, it is... Uh, there was a knockdown in round two. Of course, that's a two-point round. Vamos, fuera, fuera. And find the f I feel the champions winning slightly on points, but rather uninteresting WBA and IBO junior welterweight world title fight. Round number six. The champion, Alec Fortier, in the white trunks, the challenger. Suleiman Bai in the red trunks, it's Golden Gloves, the promoter of champions, coming to you from Monte Carlo this time. Halfway in the fight, we're waiting for the fight to explode. Fadif closes the gap. Well, good right hand. Jab by the champion from Russia. He's waiting too long. Looks really good each time Suleiman Bai decides to put the combinations together. Thing is, gotta do it consistently in this fight. There's a beautiful left jab. Breaks the rhythm of Khabib Alec Fortier. When Khabib's inside, he needs to keep it inside. He switches concentration to the corner. Good combination again. Suleiman. So now major action here in round six. In the center of the ring, clearly by in control. It's named by that left hand. Another nice jab, the left jab from Suleiman. When he's boxing, displaying his superior boxing skills, it's clear it frustrates and causes Alec Fordiv, the champion, to be even more desperate. Now, Fadif just needs to keep the punches going, though. He's not letting them go. Well, both fighters are doing the same thing. They're squaring each other up, sizing each other up all the time. 
And it's very difficult to argue against Suleiman Bai winning this round. Six rounds down in his 12 round WBA IBO super lightweight title bout. We'll be back right after this. More boxing on BN Sport. Welcome back to the Monte Carlo Million Dollar Super Four. Back ringside now for the start of round seven. Cinema. Round number seven. The Hawk. Khabib Alek Fardiev in the white trunks against the sensation Suleiman Imba in the red trunks. In the center of the ring, of course, yeah. Again, it's a Suleiman Bar taking control, trying the right hand uppercut. said to you earlier on, there's so much talk about a superstar in world boxing coming to fight in Africa. That man is sitting right next to me right now. Saw him, of course, fight against McLean, stopped him with a tremendous body shot. Just a couple of weeks ago, his ringside is our special guest, Gigi Golovkin. Watching the action, enjoying Monaco, Gigi. Oh, it was great. And so I have invested here, you know, just a very beautiful city, very beautiful people. Oh, today is a big day for sport. Today is a great show. And of course, looking at this particular fight, you've seen a couple of rounds. The champion there in the white trunks, again, just piling on the pressure, working the body beautifully, but it's the styles, perhaps, that are just clashing. Yes, right. I think for me, it's just a little bit different style. At, uh, oh, I think... Difficult fight, no, very close fight. Look, just uh, first head fight. Oh, very close. I think in the future, last last four rounds is, is good result. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Suleiman Mbai, you're hearing the voice, of course, of a uh, GGG. It's Golovkin, unbeaten in 27 fights with 24 KOs. He is an impressive, impressive record. Good jab then uh, from uh, Alec Ferdiv, but again by stands his ground. They're talking about so many fights concerning you. They're talking Sergio Martinez. Then I read, no, he's fighting Chavez. The immediate future. What are your future plans, Gigi? Oh, you know, just I think this year I have two, two fights. I don't know. I won't fight with uh, Sergio, right? I hope next year. You know, next year we'll fight with Sergio Martinez. I think a very good fight for everybody, for show, for people, for fans. Mm, 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 mm. Is that the fight that you'd like to have made Sergio Martinez? Yes, absolutely. Mm. Yes. I, mean, I think it's a great fight. It's a great fight? Yes. Mm. But I see, so you're saying you've had two fights this year? Yes, I have one. Mm -hmm. I have one, I think, in the first fight in... September, or maybe I hope last fight in second fight in December. Second fight in December. I see this promoter here is Rodney Berman. He's yeah. whispered in my ear that he may ask you to come and fight in Africa. I hope, I hope, yeah. I want for me, seriously, it doesn't matter where, just uh, I want big show. Uh, this, this box, you know, this is sport first, it's big show for everybody. For TV, for fans. Once again, Gigi, appreciate your time, appreciate your patience too. You're welcome, I appreciate it too. Uh, You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. There he is, joining us at ringside in Monte Carlo. One of the best fighters in the planet without a shadow of a doubt. Round number eight, boxing continues, and Brian Mitchell rejoins me. It's for the WBA and IBO Super Lightweight title, scheduled for 12. By the challenger in the red trunks, Alec Fardiev, the champion in the white trunks. 
Thanks, Pumlani. Well, yes, the man obviously you just spoke to now, Gennady Golovkin, is one of the greatest fighters on the planet right now, probably in the league of Floyd Mayweather. And he's the WBA and IBO middleweight champion, okay, right. Gennady no, Golovkin. No, I'm a big fan of his. I've been at both his fights, one in Monte Carlo and the one in Connecticut. And he is the silent assassin. He destroys you. But back to the action here. Another close round. Oh. Oh. From Alec I'm surprised. Mbai is still on his feet. Those were clean shots. Oh. And down goes Mbai. Oh. As the referee broke hey. him. He's gone down. The beep a lick for deep. He's knocked down Suleiman in five. He knows the neutral corner. Gets out, walks across to the neutral corner. He's okay. Oh, he's in bad trouble. And run out. Suleiman in five is getting hurt. And it's all the champion. The beep a lick for deep. The referee wants to jump in. Mbai hasn't thrown a punch. He's thrown just one. No, 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 no. Alak Fertiv is landing combinations now from all angles, throwing punches in bunches. Still just about a minute left in this round. And a big round for the undefeated champion. Well, Suleiman Bay hasn't fully recovered though. But the champion is unable at this moment to take advantage. Lands oh. good, solid combinations to the body. Oh, great body punches there. From the champion, Khabib Ali Fadif. Brilliant stuff. Reminded me of his countryman, Costa Zoo, when he started banging to the body there like that. Trying to make a comeback now. Mbai. He's done well to recover from the knockdown, Suleiman Bai. He'll see the end of this round two. Yeah, he recovered very well, Suleiman and Bai. After going down like that, I thought it was almost race over. Dans le quand même. T'es obligé de donner. Faut que tu les donnes. Tu vois ce que je veux dire Dans le. Non, non, non. Dans le. Faut que tu les donnes. Tu dois les donner. On the inside, the ref okay. breaks them and then Alec Fardiv throws a combination which sends Suleiman Bay down to the canvas. Les gars, les gars. Right here, holding, holding, Rep comes in. This is round number nine for the WBA and IBO. Light welterweight title. And well, the fight in the later rounds is living up to expectations. First few rounds were just sizing each other up, measuring each other. There's been a bit of action in the last couple of rounds. On the 20th of June, 2012, Alec Fardiv beat Kaiser Mabuza from South Africa, knockout in round number four to win the IPO light welterweight title. And then on the 30th of November 2012, he beat John Gozman to win the vacant WBA world lightweight title. Came into the ring with those two belts. He's defending them tonight against Suleiman Mbai. Good right hand from Mbai. He'll need something spectacular, Suleiman Bai, to emerge victorious in this fight. Yeah, he's starting to fall quite a few points behind now. 
Although he is getting through with most of his punches, you just need to look at the face of the champion there, Khabib Alek Ferdiev. Doesn't seem like Suleiman by Brian has got sufficient punching power to hurt his opponent. He doesn't have the punching power, and that's a problem when you're facing a puncher like Khabib Alek Ferdiev. He's going to walk right through you if you can't hurt him. I mean, there, there's a full right hand from Suleiman Ibai, and it didn't even get the attention of the champion. Good jab from Khabib. Alec Fadiev getting through with better punches, better combinations now. Left hook from Suleiman. Suleiman by made to dig deep in this fight. Yeah, Suleiman and Bai on the losing end of another round. Another good round for the champion, Khabib Alik Fardiv. It's hashtag Monaco Boxing. Keep sending us those tweets. Three rounds. Okay. Good. Listen. Get close. Don't stay outside. And fine. Don't stay outside. You're giving this guy too much time. Okay? You're giving him too much time. He's ringside with us here. GGG Joe Roche says Triple G talking about how much you'd like to fight in Africa before the end of the year. And there's the man in picture, the WBA and IBO, middleweight champion of the world. One of the best Second fighters so. on the planet right now. Second so. I'm a Undefeated 27 over 27 knockouts. Second so. His last 14 fights all by knockout. And of all the middleweight champions, he has the best knockout ratio in world boxing. And of any current champion in world boxing, Gennady Golovkin, Triple G, the man you just saw now is our special guest at ringside. And what a fighter. We hope to get him in Africa one day, maybe even by September in South Africa. Maybe Empress Palace would be great. Back to the action, round 10 of this WBA and IBO junior welterweight world title. How do you see the fight, Pumrani? Well, there's only one way. Suleiman Bai needs big, big rounds and a couple of knockdowns, of course. The waiting game seems to favor the Hara big punching champion in Khabib, Alephardiv calls himself the Hulk. Oh, that's what we expect from this WBA champion who's undefeated 18-0. WBA and IBO junior welterweight world champion Khabib Alik Fardif from Russia. He's now slowly starting to hurt his man. He's hurt him a few times in the fight, but he's now close to finishing it. He enjoys it more in that infighting. Uh, for the better combinations and a better selection of punches too. The champion's taking complete control of this fight since round six. Good straight right hand from the challenger there's a little bump that's beginning to develop just underneath the eye of a 
the right eye in fact of Suleiman Bai. There's another solid combination from Kadir. Oh, big combinations now. Well, the Frenchman says bring it on, but he's getting hurt, Suleiman and by. The referee must wait for the break in the action. Uh, the round ends. And Thanks. So when he stays close and, and punches in combination threes and fours, that's what he wants to do. There goes the mouth guard of uh, Suleiman Bai. A bit of a low blow there. They were still trading blows towards the end of round number 10. Well, it's only going oh. one way. Suleiman Vai, 91 points of 10 rounds, 98. Alec Fardiv. Clearly then. Clearly, clearly. Suleiman Vai coming to this round. The last two rounds, he'll need a knockout to win the fight. With all the knockdowns and the other rounds counting against him, he needs to throw caution to the wind. Well, of course, that my scores uh, to the viewers out there is unofficial. We run scores commentators, but it's really one-sided. It's not difficult to see that. There's a little bit of a tape on the body of uh, Alec Fertiv, right on the right-hand side beneath that elbow there. Good right hand, Suli. Needs to finish strong. That's a good right hook, though. And for you. Is a very good puncher. Well, they said, Come, God, gone again, and he's hurt his man again here in round 11. Oh, what a body punch from the champion! Wow, that's that's also a very strange decision for me. You cannot take it away from somebody when, when, when they're landing a great punch like the champion, that's really bad refereeing. He banged his man in the body. Better take him down. The gum guard Whoa. falls out and the referee stops to put the gum guard back. Absolute shocking referee. And back to the action. Continues where he left off. Alep Fardif still pins the local man, Suleiman Bai, against the ropes. And that right uppercut is landing. Oh, he's a right over the top. Left uppercut to the body, right to the head. Displaying guts and determination. Solomon by simply outgunned here by the hard hitting copy of Alec Fadir, successfully retaining his titles. The WBA and the IPO, light welterweight titles. Showed a lot of art in this fight. The veteran Suleiman Mbai, a former two-time WBA champion, 
He's boxed everywhere in Denmark, in France, in Finland, in Germany and Spain, the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, in Morocco. And in a reputation for a great fighting style, you cannot fault the referee for pulling a halt to the proceedings. At this point in time, he was taking a beating and he wasn't throwing any punches back. But Alec Fudiv is a tough, tough customer. Fine boxer, retains his titles, remains unbeaten now in 19 professional fights with nine KOs. We'll get the official time of the stoppage from the ring announcer, Michael Buffer, but credit should really go to the local man, calls himself the sensation. By he's fought some of the best in the business, amongst them Gavin Reese, Vivian Harris. But it's this man's turn right now. <laughs> Let's go now to our ring announcer, Michael Buffer, with the official time of this stoppage. Trying to sort out the announcement of the okay, official come time on. of the stoppage. Okay. Sorting out the technical problem yes. with the yes. sound. I'm supposed to sort out the technical problem. Put in the ball. It's been a fantastic turnout here in uh, Monaco. We're still just waiting to get the official time of the stoppage as soon as the operators of the public announce system will uh, have the problem sorted. Someone has walked all over the cables, I believe. And uh, they would love the people in the arena to hear the decision, of course. But there is the victorious champion, Khabib Alec Fertiv. Patiently will wait. Yes. Suleiman Bai, a beaten man here tonight, but. It's been just that type of, any, of, the, of an evening where we've seen some quality, quality boxing, really. Again, credit should go to, to Golden Gloves for great matchmaking. All is good, we can go. Three fights down, and the main event is yet to come. The Monte Carlo Million Dollar Super Four Final is coming up next on BN Sport. It's Denis Grasche from Russia versus Edwin Rodriguez from the Dominican Republic and the USA.